Hi everybody, I'm Kelly Crichton. I'm a novelist, short story writer, author of the D.I. Harriet Sloan series, and also I facilitate creative writing shop workshops for adults and for children as well. So I'm just making a few videos of different little tutorials, little tips that I can give to you that will hopefully make your journey in writing a bit easier. Um, I have a, little, a few tips for reading in public. It was something that I really was afraid to do when I started writing. Um, I wanted to be asked to read my work. I wanted to share that and I wanted to get over the fear of doing it. But um, also I was, I was really, really afraid to do it. So what I did was to set up a literary journal and they taught me so much about formatting, taking submissions. Uh, oh, it, you know, there was a wealth of knowledge that came from that. Uh, but it was important to me to have physical launches, to have that um, time to experience and practice reading aloud. Sometimes I think you have to say, if no one's going to ask me, then I'm going to allow myself, give myself permission to do that. So. It was as much for giving other writers a a format or a, so, somewhere to come and read and an outlet as it was for me to build my confidence as well by running launches and doing readings and hosting. So some of the tips that I found really helped me when I was doing those and starting off was not to drink caffeine before um, and also to arrive early. I really learned through um, reading submissions in the journal that so many stories contained um, things where people were running late for interviews, running late for work. And I thought this is such a common anxiety. Everyone really fears arriving late for things and that can make things so much worse. So I, if I'm going to do a reading somewhere um, back in the day when everything wasn't on Zoom, I would arrive really early, get the lay of the land. Going for a walk before really helps to um, dispel any anxious kind of energy. Um, I try to relax. I think if I'm doing an interview or anything like that, once I get there and I re remember, I'm only having a conversation with someone that's completely normal, but it's the um, worrying about getting there on time, getting parked and there's little things that you can do to help yourself. You can hear the ice cream van coming around. Um, relax. So remember that everybody is rooting for you. You can watch other people who are doing their readings and take away with you what worked for them, what wouldn't work for you, um, and you know, watch them by thinking about how you're going to read next time. Um, don't try to change anything last minute because it, it will go wrong um, if you decide oh this is maybe a, a bit too long so I'll take out that paragraph and then the story doesn't make sense and you get flustered so just but if you have planned try to stick with it as best you can and know that things go wrong I was at a launch where the microphones weren't working but that wasn't on me to organize microphones. So there, there were sound technicians and they sorted it out. All we could do was wait and that was fine. We just had a drink and a chat and it really reminded me that all the anxiety that I had, like what could go wrong? What if the sound doesn't work? It, was, it wasn't on me anyway. And there's nothing I could do about it. And it's accepting things that aren't under your control. Um, I've also been to um, literary festivals where really, really top name authors, bestsellers completely fluff their lines. And that is a good reminder that everybody gets nerves. And if it happens to you, it's fine. Just try to, to keep going. It's fine. It happens to everyone. And get in loads of practice before you go to do your reading. So that can be recording yourself to see how it sounds back or asking if you live with other people, friends or family, to, to listen and give you a bit of advice. They might tell you to slow down. I'm sure maybe people might tell me that 
in this video because people from Northern Ireland tend to speak quite fast. And also just to try to enjoy it because it is the time when you're getting to read your work, share it. It is no longer just on the page, just your thing. It is now part of everyone's experience. So try to enjoy it. And I hope that was helpful for some people. And I will see you next week with another video. Bye.